sometimes go unnoticed for months. Now, the Nebraska Medical Center reveals they've treated six people in the last month for that very same infection. Good afternoon. I'm Adrian Whitson. And I'm Melissa Fry. All of those people are doing just fine, but wait until you hear how one of them caught on to what was going on. Hey, TV News Watch 7's Ryan Luby is live with the details, Ryan. And Adrian, one woman says it all started with a simple infection, and her doctors at the Nebraska Medical Center say it spread significantly in just a matter of hours. What was supposed to be a mother-daughter day for Jane Vicinius in Omaha last month turned into a day of worry. I noticed in the morning a little round, pinkish-red circle on my elbow. Vicinius says over the course of the day, she started to feel worse, flu-like symptoms. Then things got serious on her drive back to her home in Shaler, Iowa. This arm, that red dot, swelled up to about an oval the size of your cupped hand, and it became very hot and very painful, my arm did. She eventually ended up in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber at the Nebraska Medical Center with swelling in her entire arm. That was after two days in a small hospital elsewhere. Vicinius's diagnosis, necrotizing fasciitis, more commonly known as a flesh-eating infection caused by any number of different staph or strep bacteria. It can spread along there very quickly, um, and cause a lot of tissue damage, a lot of muscle damage, uh, to the point you could lose your extremity within a matter of hours. Dr. Jeff Sardin, who specializes in infectious diseases, says the infections can start anywhere, especially, though, in water environments. The keys to treating the infection, prompt surgery, antibiotics, and supportive care, such as the hyperbaric oxygen chamber, providing concentrated, pressurized oxygen to areas of the body that are lacking it. And we find that when we treat with hyperbarics, a greater number do well. According to Dr. Jeff Cooper, that includes patients like Jane Vicinius, who has no idea where she got the infection in the first place. Again, doctors at the Nebraska Med Center treated six people just in the last month. They say that is an unusually high number, but say it's likely just coincidence more than anything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 